Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what divalproex sodium is, the history of divalproex sodium, how divalproex sodium works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to PubChem, divalproex sodium is a stable coordination compound comprised of sodium valproate and valproic acid with anticonvulsant and antiepileptic activities. Divalproex sodium is used to treat a wide range of seizure disorders. Examples are myoclonic epilepsy, absence epilepsy, generalized convulsions, partial seizures, and status epileptus. Divalproex sodium is also known as Depicote, Epival, Valproic acid, Depicane, Depicote ER, and Depicote sprinkle. Divalproex sodium was approved for the treatment of epilepsy in 1983 and is manufactured by Abbott Laboratories. Along with treating epilepsy, divalproex sodium can be used to treat the manic phase of bipolar disorder and prevent migraine headaches. Divalproex dissociates to the valproate ion in the gastrointestinal tract. The agent binds to and inhibits gamma aminobutyric acid transaminase. Anticonvulsant activity may be exerted by increasing the brain concentration of GABA, inhibiting enzymes that catabolize GABA, blocking the reuptake of GABA into GIA and nerve endings. Divalproex may also work by suppressing repetitive neuronal firing through inhibition of voltage-sensitive sodium channels. According to Mayo Clinic, there are numerous side effects when taking divalproex sodium. Some of the more common side effects are black, tarry stools, bleeding gums, bloating or swelling of the face, arms, hands, lower legs and feet, blood in urine or stools, confusion, cough, crying, diarrhea, difficult or labored breathing, dysphoria, false or unusual sense of well-being, fever, or general feeling of discomfort or illness. Additional side effects are headache, hoarseness, joint pain, loss of appetite, lower back or side pain, mental depression, muscle aches or pains, nausea, nervousness, painful or difficult urination, problems with memory or speech, quick to react or overreact emotionally, rapid weight gain, rapidly changing moods, sense of detachment from self or body, shakiness in legs, arms, hands or feet, sleepiness or unusual drowsiness, tingling in the hands or feet, trouble sleeping, trouble thinking or planning, trouble walking, unusual bleeding or bruising, and vomiting. Take proper precautions to prevent unplanned pregnancy. If you are planning to become pregnant, talk to your doctor before trying to conceive. Fetal valproate syndrome, or FVA, is a rare condition that may occur when a fetus is exposed to valproic acid in the first trimester. Developmental abnormalities can take place. There is a 20-fold increase in neural tube defects, cleft lip and palate, cardiovascular abnormalities, genitourinary defects, developmental delay, endocrine disorders, limb defects, spina bifida, and autism. 
Divalproic sodium may cause serious or life-threatening damage to the liver that is most likely to occur within the first six months of therapy. In conclusion, dibelproic sodium is a stable coordination compound comprised of sodium valproate and valproic acid with anticonvulsant and anti-epileptic activities. Dibelproic sodium is used to treat a wide range of seizure disorders. Examples are myoclonic epilepsy, absence epilepsy, generalized convulsions, partial seizures, and status epileptus. There are many side effects someone taking dibelproic sodium can experience. Talk to your doctor if you plan on conceiving due to risk of fetal complications. Take proper precautions to prevent unplanned pregnancy. Dibelproic sodium may cause serious or life-threatening damage to the liver that is most likely to occur within the first six months of therapy. Talk to your doctor before making any changes to your medication or treatment plan. To learn more about diverprolic sodium, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.